guy a night there where we played great football and got the right result. Yeah, I thought we were excellent the night from start to finish. You know, if you look at the 90 minutes, Dungannon had, had two opportunities the whole 90 minutes. Won the first half in the left backs, got down the line, he's fizzed a lovely ball across our, our six yard line. Um, and then in the second half, right near the end of the game, we got across the back post and the, and the guys got a header. That's a, that was the only two chances that we can remember off the top of our heads. Um, they created 90 minutes, but on the flip side of that, if you look at us in the first half, Andy Wilder had a goal disallowed, which we'd like to see again. Um, Mix had a free kick, goalkeepers made a great save. Andy Hall's at one cleared off the line, you know, and that was the first half. Defensively, we were solid. Um, going forward, we looked like we were creating chances. And thankfully, we come out in the second half and we got a, a goal at a great time, you know, just early in the second half. And, you know, Andy Waters pops up with, with a goal and I'm delighted for him because, you know, Andy's been struggling for a while with the, the COVID. He, he, he seems to have got a bit of the long COVID and he's been struggling with his energy levels, and that's the reason why he hasn't been playing, and no other reason. Um, but thankfully, the last week, He's, he's felt better in training. He's been able to get three training sessions without feeling tired. Um, and, and that's why I decided to go him. I thought he looked sharp on Saturday and come on and asked him how he felt after the game on Saturday. And he said he felt good. So I decided to go with him tonight. You know, we've got more experience up front with, with, with Fitzy. And thankfully, he got the first goal that set us on our way. And then the second goal was an unbelievable finish from, from, from Peter Campbell. I keep saying that Messi scores goals like that all the time. And when he scores goals like that, they're, they're repeated over and over and over again. Um, but that was an unbelievable finish and a great composure and great ball from Skimmer. But again, you know, on, on a whole, on a difficult night, difficult conditions, I thought we played some good stuff. We looked really solid defensively. Um, and we got two goals on a clean sheet, which is, which is great. Yeah. Um, for you, Ibrahim's reason, have you mentioned yourself in the team on the bench. Um, disappointed not to get on, Gary, no? <laughs> <laughs> the manager didn't think it was good enough to put on, so he didn't. But, <laughs> if I know, as I say, um, it's, it's, been a, it's been a really difficult day and I thought, here we go, well, this is going to be another night like this. Um, Daggy Brown texted me in the afternoon. He's, he's had come in close, close, close contact that uh, worked with a with COVID guy, so he had to go and get a PCR test, so he wasn't allowed to uh, report tonight. Callum Burney, um, and I hope everything's okay with, with his missus and his child and her mum and dad. They were in a serious um, car accident tonight, so the, the, the news at this minute in time is they're, they're all okay. It's just been, you know, um, a write off, the car's a write off, um, but hopefully they're, they're okay and our thoughts are with them. Um, but as I say, that was a big blow because, as I say, um, he was due to start the game tonight. Dorler, as I said in the preview, he wasn't meant to be even involved tonight, but because of that, and Doyle travelled down with him, he turned around and he said that, listen, I'll play for you after the night, you know, I'll, I'll go through the pain barrier. If you've seen his foot in there, it's it's mental um, how somebody can go through 90 minutes and just shows you the character he is. And, you know, sometimes people can, can be critical of Doyle at times and, you know, I think it's so unfair because the, the guy gives every single um, thing he has for this football club. And, and again, you know, I just love him as a character. Um, for somebody to turn around, see see his teammate in difficulty like that, um, because his, his his partner's had an accident, and, and 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 put himself forward, you know, to play when he shouldn't have been involved, um, is unbelievable. And you know, that's that's as, as big a testament as I can play, pay to him. Um, but I thought the the whole back four tonight looked solid. Um, you know, obviously Danny was excellent centre half tonight. And then singing and singing and Morley were really good against Listen, McBreen is a, a top, top player. Um, I watched him against Crusaders last Friday night and he's a player that really excites me. He's a player that's ready to sign in the summer. But unfortunately, he chose to come to Dungannon. Um, but uh, Morley done really, really well against them tonight. I watched him last week against Crusaders. He caused them all sorts of problems. But, you know, we had a few runs tonight um, as well. But on a whole, I thought Morley defended him really well tonight. You know, I thought Mike O'Connor again showed a bit of class in midfield. Snods was accent at the press for us tonight. You know, the press is so important for our game, and, and Snods and Mick got it right from the start. And then the wider is Andy Hall put a shift in again. I thought Peter Campbell was again back himself tonight again, and, and Fitzy and Andy played well as a pair up front. So you know, I can't ask any more of the players. Begsy come on and done a good shift. Um, Harmo come on for five ten minutes there and was excellent and. And so do we Ribsy. So, you know, I'm delighted for the boys. I'm delighted, you know, because it, it, it does get hard and it does get soul destroying sometimes whenever you've been playing well and you haven't been getting results. And then you go out Saturday and you play poorly like we did. And, you know, it's hard for players to, to go out and, you know, have belief and confidence in themselves. But they did. They showed that tonight. And I, I demanded it often before the game. I said, still have belief in yourselves. Have the confidence. Go and get on the ball and, and make things happen and play. And, and thankfully they did that tonight. 
Um, you mentioned Saturday there. One of the negatives, I suppose, from Saturday as well was the loss of Jack O'Man. Are you, are you updating him on how he's doing? Yeah, Jack's going to be out now for probably six weeks. He's done his ankle ligaments, um, so it's another blow for us. Um, it just seems to be, everything seems to be going against us in a minute again. Said it today, there's again Daggy today, and obviously what's happened to Callum tonight, you know, and it just you're trying to prepare for a game and, and you can't you can't prepare for those situations um, happening. Um, so, but you know, we've got through it tonight, we didn't make any excuses about it, um, we didn't say anything about it before the game, we just got on with it. And as I say, thankfully, we've got the, the three points, and, and I'm pleased we scored two goals and, and kept a clean sheet. Yeah, well, good positives to take then going into Saturday's game against Crusaders. Yeah, they'll have to take confidence from that and believe in themselves. And as I say, they're showing this year in the majority of games against the top six that they can compete and we can give them a game. It's, there's only been a goal in it, um, a goal away from a win or a goal away from a draw most of the games. So, you know, hopefully one of these weeks it'll it'll turn for us and, 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 and we can get that extra goal that we need to either get us a win or a draw and, 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 and come away with, with, with a good result. And, you know, I have faith in the boys, belief in the boys, and they just have to keep believing in themselves and have faith in themselves.